There's a new image format in town. What? As if. You're actually pretty close. It's called Av If. Wait a second. What are you reading? It's a book about eating better. I figure with the holidays coming, I should lose some weight beforehand, but it keeps finding me. Amen to that. Anyway, in this video, you're going to learn about Av If and how to optimize and convert images on your site to Av If 100% free. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Av If or AVIF is an image type that leads to compression of up to 50% from your original image size. JPEGs and PNGs can be compressed a little bit. WebP, which I'm sure you've heard of, if you convert to that format, they can be compressed even more without losing quality. And AVIF leads to even more compression than WebP without losing quality. And the plugin I'm going to show you today is going to allow you to convert images from JPEG or PNG to WebP or AVIF and compress them up to 50% from the original size for free, 100% for free, forever on as many websites as you want. So if that's not a good deal, I don't know what is. And if you ever have second thoughts in the future and you want to delete the plugin, it will actually revert all your images back to the original images when it's deleted. And so you have no risk to try it out. And I think if you do try it, you're going to see that the compression is pretty amazing. So to install this plugin, we're going to go to the plugins tab inside the dashboard and then click on add new. Then search for Compress X. This is the one we want right here. It is brand spanking new. This update two weeks ago. I think that is in fact the release date. This plugin's brand new. It's got 32 reviews already, five out of five stars, 1,000 plus active installs, and it's developed by the WP Vivid team. And I use their plugins a lot. I use their backup and restore plugin all the time. In fact, if you're installing this on a live site or a production site, you're gonna to wanna to backup your site first just in case something goes wrong. There's a link in the tutorial to a video using the WP Vivid backup plugin to backup and restore a site in case you need help with that. That's also free. Click on install now when you're ready, then click activate. Now we have a new menu item on the left here called compress X. Hover over that and go to settings. Here we have a warning because we're on an Nginx server. I think it should still work. We'll see. Turn this tab on here so that when you upload new images, it'll automatically convert them all to WebP or AVIF. And if you're uploading as a WebP or AVIF, it'll compress them for you using these image libraries for processing, either GD or Imagic. Imagic I actually have installed on my computer as a command line image manipulation tool. GD I've never used, but it's the default one, so I'll stick with that. Output formats, you can choose WebP or AVIF or both or either. Here we can choose our compression level. If we hover over the question mark, we see basically a description of what the five levels are. Lossless is 100% compression level, and lossy on the other end is only a compression level of 60%. So you can choose which one you want. You can flip back and forth to see how the image quality is affected as well. You can also choose custom. I'm just gonna stick with the check mark. In this little box on the right, we have the ability to start bulk processing. So it'll go and process all the images on our website currently. I'm gonna click that in just a minute so we can see what the results are. But first we'll go through some of these settings down here. We have browser compatibility issues. You can use the rewrite rule or not, but this is selected, it's a radio button, so you can't unselect it. So looks like we're using this one no matter what on my current setup. And on the right hand side, it goes into more detail about what each of these settings on the left means. Do not convert PNGs, pretty self-explanatory. Check that box if you don't want your PNGs converted. Remove XIF data, I'm gonna remove that, but it's unavailable for the GD conversion. So I'm gonna come up here, change to Imagic, because I wanna remove the XIF. That's data like over here, it shows geolocation, timestamps, authorship, image summary. These days when you take an image with a camera or a phone, it adds all this information to the image file that you can see using some software, but you usually don't need to have that on your website. So you can remove it with this option here. Here we can choose how many images to process per Ajax request. The default is five. And basically this means how many images are processed at once. It'll depend on your server, what you should be setting this to. But once you've gone, gone through the bulk processing, how many images you're really uploading in a day? Whatever you set here, I'm pretty sure it won't be a big deal in your case. You might upload five, 10 images a day or a week. So it's not gonna be a huge load on your server, but you can adjust this as needed. If you want more details about what this means, Check out this paragraph right here. If when you switch an image to AVIF or WebP and the image happens to be bigger than the original, which believe it or not happens sometimes, if this box is checked, it's gonna remove the quote unquote compressed images in the, in the smaller image formats and keep the originals. So I'd keep that checked. You can auto resize large images to the dimensions you see here. I'll keep that checked as it is there. And this option here to remove the header always set cache control to private. 
This might affect caching with Cloudflare and you can remove that if that is an issue for you. Click on save changes after you've made all those changes. Here you can choose the thumbnail sizes you want to process. If you have a website dedicated to art or pictures that people download, and you want the highest quality possible for the original image, I would uncheck the original. Just keep the original as original. Just process all the others. For most other websites, checking the original I'm sure is not a problem. Click on save changes. Here you can choose folders to include or exclude. For this site inside the media library, we have a bunch of different folders added by various plugins and the media library itself. And you can choose to exclude folders by clicking the plus icon, adds it over here, and those images will be excluded. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to process all the images. So I'll just save this with nothing in the excluded folder. For the custom folder section, you can choose folders that are inside the WP content folder that also include images that you might want to process. So you might have not in your media library, but outside your media library, images in specific folders you want to process. You can choose them here if you want. Click on this little tiny triangle to open up subfolders. And it shows in the brackets how many images are in there. So this one has 11. This one has one image, one image, 18 images. I'll add those in just for fun. There's a bulk process button here. I'm not going to press this right now because I think it might also work when I press bulk process up here, but we'll see when we do that. I don't want to process just yet. And if we click in this box here and type delete, then hit go, it's going to delete all the images that compress X made on your site. So if you don't want to use the plugin anymore for any reason, this is how you delete all those images or revert back to your originals and then you can delete the plugin. So let's go to the very top and let's click on start bulk processing. We're going to let this run. Depending how many images you have on your site, it might take longer. And because they're being processed on your server, which makes it 100% free to use, there is a little more bandwidth being used on your server than you normally would without compressing all these images. So keep that in mind. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's all done. Compress X is successfully processed almost 15 megabytes of images, and it's completely free. Super duper. Let me give a five-star review. If you want to do that, do that right here. It'd be pretty helpful if you get value out of their plugin to rate it for them. Here it shows our stats. 100% of images were output to WebP. 100% were output to AvIF. The overall WebP size of all the images together, let's go back to the original. It's gone. And that notification box a moment ago said the original size was 15 megabytes of images. That's down to 4.27 megabytes for the WebP, 3.13 megabytes for the AVIF, for 92% savings for AVIF, 89.5% savings for the WebP, which is a whole lot smaller. I said at the beginning of the video, 50% savings. Here we're talking 92. That's crazy. If we go to our media library, let's open that. Let's go to this image right here. We can see specific information for this specific image. The original is 240 kilobytes and it was a JPEG, and in WebP format, it's 121 kilobytes, and AVIF format, it's 102 kilobytes. There's some more very important details. If we go to the compressx.io website, it explains them quite concisely. You can even have a slider comparison between AVIF and JPEG. I can't even tell the difference. AVIF on the right, JPEG on the left. And the size of the AVIF is 73 kilobytes, JPEG is 146. So it's quite a compression. What I wanted to show you is not that comparison. I wanted to show you this right here. So when you are on your website and you compress your images to WebP and AVIF, you might wonder, where are they? How do they load? What do I have to do? It turns out you don't have to do anything. Using rewrite rules, it'll load WP and AVIF image formats for various browsers that support them. If the browsers don't support them, the original image will be loaded. And so you're not getting rid of any original images by using this plugin, but you're just having additional image formats on your website. And for the people who can view them, this your site's gonna load a whole lot faster. A lot of these other options we saw throughout this video. So if you want better image compression and load next gen image formats, which Google PageSpeed Insights wants you to do and Google Search wants you to do so your website's fast and you can rank higher in search as a result, potentially, you should check out this plugin. It's super easy to install, super easy to use, as we just saw, and there's really no risk because if you don't like it, you can delete it and all the data the plugin created is then removed and your originals are put back. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, let me know by liking and subscribing and leaving a comment down below. And next up, check out this video up here, which is going to help you make your WooCommerce site lightning fast so it loads faster 
has happier customers, and hopefully gets ranked in Google search. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.